You know, what's confusing to me is how college tuition is exponentially rising, but then a degree is becoming exponentially worthless. I mean, let's be honest. At what point are people or society going to start thinking about the ROI of quote unquote higher education? When you actually think about it, the whole thing from a structural standpoint had always just seemed like a massive Ponzi scheme. And let me explain. And by the way, if you want to be a doctor or an engineer or a specific field like that, you just have to go through with it. Even if it is a scam just to get that argument out the way. But if you're going to major in some BS like business or theater arts or interdisciplinary studies or communication or political science, you know, these nonsensical majors, which most students do, by the way, then that's a different story. Because really, the only reason why they have these majors is to recruit as many students as possible for more money. Like, how the hell is ethnic studies a major on its own? I'm sorry, that's just dumb. And interdisciplinary studies and these weird ass subjects? I mean, at that point, you might as well start making majors on how to make toilet paper and boil water. Okay, so we know college is a business first and foremost. If you haven't grasped that yet, I don't really know what to tell you. But exactly how much of it is a business versus a quote unquote education system? Because obviously, the main beneficiary of college is the bureaucracy. Because think about it, right? Let's say you had the choice between four years and $100,000, give or take, to master a skill or do what you want, or a piece of paper that's now an entry level requirement for most BS jobs, which would you choose? College, believe it or not, used to be affordable, and back then going to university was a big deal, because it actually meant something. And now it's just kind of like, congrats, you got your participation trophy for a 9 to 5 life. And it was only really till the 60s where banks made it so that students were able to take out loans where universities started to jack up prices because they saw the long-term gains in those loans that now plague more than half of college students. Okay, so let's break this down. First, you have to realize that there's almost zero risk for colleges and universities to raise tuition prices. You really think they care if students drop out? Because think about it like this, right? From the moment we're born into society, we go to school, right? And that entire time you're in school, you're told that eventually you will go to college just because that's what everyone should do, right? Like what else are you going to do? Especially if you come from more traditional families. You never questioned it. Like, of course, that's the only option. And if that's the only option for almost everyone, why would they not constantly raise the prices? And for decades, you've had politicians and presidents echoing those sentiments that higher education is the quote unquote best investment, which is honestly bullshit, both statistically and theoretically. But because college is pretty much seen as the only option, they can constantly raise tuition prices and charge you for whatever nonsense they want. You want to know why university ads always emphasize their amenities like look at the gym, look at the pools, look at the stadium, look at the food court, look at our glorified below average dorm rooms and all that nonsense when recruiting students. It's because that's what appeals to teenagers who honestly have no idea about anything or life just getting out of high school. I mean, most girls would be completely sold if there's a Starbucks on campus. No teenagers looking at all the classes and quality of the professors. I mean, maybe a few, but for the most part, they just care about the school name, what the campus looks like, and the BS amenities. They're not thinking about or researching the amazing or shit professors they're going to take classes from. When they think about college, they're thinking about being away from home, partying, clubs, sororities, frats, meeting people, drinking, sex, drugs, etc. So then now all the colleges are competing with each other and their BS amenities, which means jacking up tuition prices, right, to justify spending costs? And then as tuition goes up, this means increasing loans, right? Which results in increasing debt. Think about it like a pyramid. The banks, politicians, the administrators, all of them are at the top of the pyramid. And then all the students with the nonsensical majors are at the bottom. High school students going to college are like, I just sat in a chair for four years learning about useless shit and now I gotta pay for it? And then all for what? A piece of paper that represents taking nonsensical classes that honestly have jack shit to do with anything. For an entry level job that has nothing to do with anything you quote unquote learned. The whole thing just doesn't seem right from a structural standpoint, from top down. It's like since the day you were born, you're tricked and forced to go to this thing because there's no other options. And when you analyze what you're actually learning and doing and how that applies, you'll realize that there's a lot of holes in the system and it's really just a money making business. Actually, as a matter of fact, the more I'm talking about it, the more impressive it's starting to seem in my head. It's kind of like this one big elaborate Ponzi scheme that's interconnected in so many different ways. You got to give it up to them. Don't get it twisted. Education itself is fine. But the system as a whole is just this one big pyramid scheme. I'm actually really curious as to know how much of what we learn in college and school transfers over to what we do. I swear it's gotta be lower than like 20%. And honestly, college and learning is based on short term memorization. It's way more about passing than it is learning and no one who's graduated can honestly say otherwise. Or you're lying your ass off. Just think about how many students party and skip most of their classes during finals or midterm week and they end up pulling like three all-nighters in a row. And once you pass the class, get your credits, you're on to the next. No one actually thinks about the class or reflects on what they learned. They're all trying to sell their books for half the price and get some of their money back. Because the reality is most of that stuff is useless. That's why you don't remember it. As a matter of fact, most people probably don't remember 80% of what they learn in school in general. And for almost all jobs, you learn from the ground up anyways. And if you're lucky, maybe 10 to 15% of what you quote unquote learn transfers over. 
And on top of that, most people, if not all, in college learn on their own anyways. You go to lecture, take notes, act like you know what's going on, have no idea what the professor is saying, but of course you don't ask a question because you're in a room filled with 300 other students. And then you get back to your apartment, you're going on Google and YouTube to learn on your own. So in reality, most of your learning is actually coming from this thing called the internet. You might have heard of it. And on top of that, you're just self-learning 90% of the shit. And a lot of professors really couldn't care less. They're just trying to get their hours in and collect the paycheck. And I mean, you can't really blame them either. And the prerequisites for college degrees are so arbitrary, it literally doesn't make any sense. They just want you to take as many arbitrary classes as possible because that's more tuition money. You're buying more books, spending more time in university, etc. I remember taking this one class on flowers and plants to fulfill some biology requirement and we were learning about like plant families or something. And bro, I kid you not, the first day of class, the professor was talking about cabbages and Brussels sprouts being from the mustard family. And I wanted to take off my shoe and throw it at his head. Okay, obviously not for real, but I was just sitting there like, what am I doing? Listen, I know every single student has asked themselves this multiple times. And it's, why is this necessary? Or when am I gonna need this? And to be honest, you know it's a rhetorical question. You know it's nonsense. I mean, there really is no basis for some of the classes you take other than to pour more money into the system. I think the quote unquote pandemic exposed colleges and universities more than ever because when classes went online, they pretty much did nothing to cut costs despite making billions off students during a financially challenging time. Pretty much says everything in a nutshell. As a matter of fact, some universities even have a complete tax exemption which is insane considering the billions they're making. Anyways, bottom line, I don't think that the return on investment for a college degree is anywhere near worth it anymore, especially nowadays and the trajectory the world is moving towards. If you examine exactly what you're doing and learning, especially if you're going with some bullshit major, again, doctors and engineers, etc., you got no choice, you'll come to understand that most of it is bullshit and not applicable. Seriously, it's just random prerequisites and classes that are a giant waste of time and money. But again, the whole scheme is predicated on the fact that you need a diploma because it's the quote unquote only path. So they can freely raise tuition prices, banks can use that to increase loans and debt, and then most students either drop out halfway or they come out of it buried under debt. Most of the times, working minimum wage. Because that piece of paper you call a diploma means as much as soft tissue toilet paper in the world today. So just imagine 5, 10, 20 years from now. Tuition will become exponentially more expensive, and a degree will become exponentially more useless. As a matter of fact, let's all give it up for the bankers, politicians, administrators, and universities as a whole for this elaborate decade-long scheme going on. They even profit off student-athletes without letting them take a dime. And this isn't new, right? People have been talking about problems in the education system forever. But it's not gonna change because the reality is that in a capitalistic society, business and money will always be first. And that's essentially what college is. It's marketed as an education system, but in reality, it's just one big pyramid scheme. You're not really learning anything. Most of the things you're learning from is from the internet. And you're learning on your own 90% of the time anyways. And again, most of those things you're learning is useless. I think that's all I got for this one. Anyways, if you guys liked the video, leave a like, comment, or sub. And with that said, make sure you guys stay true. Talk to you guys real soon. Peace.